It's going to be a good day. I was trying to turn on the audio recorder, even though the audio recorder is already turned on. Greetings, it is I, the Great One himself, Seneca Libertarian Society, C-Y-N-L-I-B-S-O-C.com, on the interwebs. Give me bitcoins, you stingy bastards, you. Hi there. As you may have noticed, there is no podcast on Monday because I've been incredibly fucking busy working my little fucking ass off. And last week when I said I would have everything back on track with the podcast by Monday, I was a lying motherfucker. This podcast will be really short because I have about 45 minutes to get a shit ton of stuff done before I roll to another gig. And fortunately, I was like, what can I do a really short anarchy moment about? And then, of course, I interacted with women. And by interacting with women, I mean I was in the room with them. And that's really all it takes. So because, and this is brilliant because I'm in the middle of a series about women and their problems and all their stuff. Anyway, you're listening to it. You should be listening to it. Go back, listen to the previous two editions of Stating the Obvious. There's more coming. So anyhow, I'm at the theater. And so theater checks are fucked up to begin with because most people in theater are fucked up. I can tell you this because I've worked in theater for 11 fucking years. I'm in the theater, and we're working. I'm working on a college production, so a bunch of college kids are in there. And there's this one little chickie comes in there, and she's fairly hot. And I'm looking at her. I'm saying, "Yeah, I would fuck that." And then she opened her mouth, <laughs> and this is what she said. <laughs> oh. She said, quote, I didn't know logic was the dumbest philosophy class, unquote. Because you see, listening to the rest of the conversation, she took philosophy because she thought it would be easy, of course, and she took logic because she thought it would be easy, of course. But she didn't know that logic is the dumbest philosophy class. You see, my friends and my enemies, this is why those people in the manosphere, and this is why anarcho-capitalists like myself who don't have our heads shoved up our asses, this is why we look at women and all we see is stupidity. I hate to break this to you, honey, but logic is not dumb. And the fact that you think logic is dumb goes right along with your belief that math is patriarchy and that language is patriarchy. And so when you're sitting here with your go-girlisms and talking about how great you are and how you're a strong independent woman, but you don't even under you don't logic. You think logic is dumb. I mean this is how You vote for people like Hussein Obama because you think logic is dumb. There it is. From the mouth of a fucking woman. And women will, wait, we should make the same amount of money that men make. No, you shouldn't. You can't do math. You can't do geometry. Did I tell the geometry story? I didn't tell the geometry story. I don't have time. I'm going to tell it anyway. Along with logic, I got this woman. This woman says, okay, so we've got these rectangles over here, and then there's this one over here as a square. She's like, can you make the square the same size as the rectangles? And I said, no. Because a square by definition, is an object, a two-dimensional object. We're working on a two-dimensional piece of paper here. Square is a two-dimensional object. It has four sides. All four sides are the same length. Now, a rectangle is a two-dimensional object with four sides. By definition, two sides are shorter than the other two sides, which means the other two sides are longer than the previous two sides. That is, by definition, what the fuck a rectangle is. Can I make the square and the rectangle the same size? No. 
Not on a two-dimensional piece of paper. Sure fucking can't. Maybe in four dimensions we could do that. But you see, geometry, that's part of the patriarchy. Rectangles and squares were created to oppress women. Evil white men who work for a living and have sex with women created geometry to fucking oppress you. It's just like logic. It's just like math. It's just like language. It's just like geometry. It's all, it's all part of our patriarchal plan to hold you down and to keep you oppressed. <sighs> and women wonder why websites like Return of Kings exist. I can tell you exactly why, honey. They exist because dumb fucking college cunts like you walk around saying, I didn't know logic was the dumbest philosophy class. <laughs>